Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about a switched reluctance motor, which it is called as a SRM motors. Okay, so switched reluctance motors, in shortcut it is called SRM motors. So what is meant by reluctance? Actually, we know uh, the formula for current. Current I is equal to V by R. Okay, if resistance is minimum, maximum current can be flown. Similarly, for the magnetic field, flux is equal to this. I can write down it as magnetomotive force divided by reluctance. If more flux has to travel, the reluctance should be minimum. So this is all about uh, the reluctance is nothing but the magnetic uh, resistance. So that's why these motors are called switched reluctance motors. And coming to here, these switched reluctance motors is generally used in electric vehicle applications as well as a hybrid electric vehicle applications. And this switched reluctance motor is basically simple in construction. Okay, so basically they are of uh, construction is very simple. And you can see here, this switched electrons motor also consists of two parts, like compared to remaining motors, stator as well as the rotor. So this is nothing but the stator. You have an iron core. On this, you are going to have the winding. And rotor, you are going to have, on the rotor, you are going to have the field winding. So this is nothing but your shaft. And this, you are going to have the rotor. You are going to have your winding or directly the iron core. Okay, so some hall sensor will be present on this shaft. They are going to sense the what should be the position of the rotor with respect to the stator that is sensed by the hall sensor. Okay, so here hall sensors is used to detect the position of the rotor or the rotor position should be there with respect to the stator that is taken care by the hall sensors. And you can see here the winding the stator is made up of winding where this are winding we are going to call it as a armature winding so here this switched reluctance motor is similar to that of the parts of an our synchronous motor so in synchronous motor also you have the stator as well as the rotor the rotor you are going to have the field winding but the rotor is a permanent magnet in the case of a permanent magnet synchronous motor so here the field winding we are directly using an iron core and we are going to change the magnetic resistance that's why these are called switched reluctance motors and basically these are simple in construction since they are simple in construction the manufacturing cost is too low the manufacturing cost of this is too low and third one is so the simple to design and manufacture so the design of this motor and control i mean speed control of this motor is very simple than compared to the remaining motors and coming to the next application this srm motors have heavy saturation at the pole tips so these are nothing but uh, the pole tips at these pole tips they have high saturation so the magnetic material it undergoes a high saturation at the tips so srm i mean this you have already discussed it. there are some hall sensors these hall sensors are used to detect the position of the rotor with respect to the stator okay so what should be the position of the rotor with respect to the available stator winding which is nothing but the armature winding and when you have these hall sensors these hall sensors are undergoes when the motor is running it undergoes a mechanical vibrations and these hall sensors are sensitive to temperature they cannot uh, withstand for higher temperature automatically the life of the sensor is very less and they will not be have proper insulation therefore they are unsafe so due to all these mechanical vibrations and temperature sensitivity and they are directly exposed to the uh, atmosphere so they have lesser reliability or the life of this switched reluctance motor with respect to sensors the sensors has less life automatically the life of this switched reluctance motor is also less you have to regularly change the sensors with respect to the winding also 
so all this sensors has been removed and the latest techniques available are sensorless switch reluctance motor so very simple to understand by varying the magnetic resistance so here we are going to vary the magnetic resistance these motors are operating you have two parts one is uh, stator part and water part and stator part we are going to have the armature winding this is called this yellow color is called armature winding and you have a rotor and rotor generally should have field winding but we are going to use some sort of magnetic material where this changes the reluctance that's why these are called magnetic resistance rotor and its pole tips they undergo saturation and next one coming to the features these are used in electric vehicle and hybrid electric vehicle configuration basically construction is very simple therefore the manufacturing is very simple and the design of this motor and the speed control of this motor is also very simple and due to the availability, availability of all sensors and the shaft of this switch reluctance motor these all sensors are used to identify the position of where the rotor is there with respect to the rotor position if the sensors continuously sense the position of the poles produced by the electromagnet with respect to the poles of the rotor it is going to adjust of its own the stator is adjusting of its own to the position of the rotor so the this is taken care by the hall sensor this hall sensor has to withstand the mechanical vibration it has to withstand high temperatures and they are directly exposed in the air so therefore we need to have regular maintenance due to all this property the reliability of these motors is uh, very less due to availability of this sensor now the latest technology is coming with sensorless motor so and the latest r&d is uh, carried out by texas and university to design this sensorless motor so next session we will continue with rest uh, i mean dc motors basic working principle types how we have Uh, self excited and which are separately excited and how the torque and what are the speed power torque characteristics are exhibited by a dc motor so if you feel this content is useful please you and like and share the contents with your friends and give you your valuable comments in the comment section and please subscribe this channel and please motivate i mean please share this with uh, friends to have more subscribers and this is a free channel which will help the students of uh, electrical engineering or any other domain to learn about electric vehicle parts the motors and the function so thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video of uh, design of dc motors thank you